Good morning, hello and welcome. My name is Ian Bland and I'm Head of Motorcycle Marketing here at Suzuki GB. And today is the global unveiling of the new GSX S1000. Now the bike was teased earlier in the month, but today we're happy to pull the covers off completely. I think the most notable and striking thing about the bike is its new aggressive design. Things like the winglets on the radiator shrouds and the new stacked LED headlights give it a really aggressive look. Underneath the bodywork is a Euro 5 compliant inline four cylinder engine with improved top end power and more torque throughout the rev range compared to the previous version. An updated suite of electronics sees the addition of a new bi-directional quick shifter, new traction control system, selectable engine maps, low RPM assist and our easy start function. Wider bars mean more leverage for attacking corners, whilst a comfier seat and larger tank mean you do more of that between fuel stops. Now let's take a look at the design philosophy and engineering targets of our team at Hamamatsu when they came to designing the new GSX-S 1000. When it came to redesigning the GSX S1000, high on the list of objectives for the team of engineers and designers was a new look. And immediately obvious is the bike's new aesthetic. The bodywork and lighting is completely new, with a focus on sharp, angular, aggressive lines and a powerful stance with a mass forward demeanour. Its Street Fighter looks are enhanced with textured radiator shrouds, MotoGP inspired winglets and side panels that feature an urban camo inspired design. Arguably the most striking visual change is the new vertically stacked LED headlight as well as the practical benefits of a new monofocus LED light source that displays a wide bright light. The new design of two stacked hexagonal units topped by LED position lights creates a look that is lighter and tighter and aids the desire for a more aggressive pose. There's a new LED tail light too, with both flanked by LED indicators. The inline four cylinder in the 2021 GSX S1000 produces more power and a broader spread of torque in the lower rev range to deliver ideal naked sports bike performance. Changes include a new intake and exhaust camshaft, valve springs, clutch and exhaust. Compared to its predecessor, the new GSX S1000 makes more cumulative torque across the rev range, filling in the dips in the graph with a flatter curve. It revs on to provide increased top end power too, with peak power 152 PS at 11,000 RPM. Thankfully, a new exhaust retains the soundtrack the outgoing model was known for, and there are new throttle bodies and a new airbox. Added controllability and increased performance also comes thanks to Suzuki's clutch assist system. The slipper clutch partially disengages to reduce negative engine torque and mitigate the effect of engine braking when downshifting from high RPM. This helps prevent the rear tyre from locking up or hopping and provides smoother deceleration, enabling the rider to shift down with greater confidence and maintain better control when downshifting into corners. Adding an assist function increases the clutch's clamping force under acceleration and thereby allows the use of softer springs while still efficiently transferring torque to the rear wheel resulting in a lighter lever operation. An advancement over the previous GSX S1000 comes with an updated suite of electronics courtesy of Suzuki Intelligent Ride System, SIRS. A new ride-by-wire throttle makes it possible for riders to more accurately and finally control the relationship between throttle actuation and engine response, especially when allied to the new Suzuki Drive Mode Selector System, SDMS, with which the new GSX-S1000 is equipped. 
SDMS allows riders to choose from one of the three engine maps depending on the riding conditions or their own personal preferences. Performance is also enhanced thanks to a bi-directional quick shifter which reduces the need to operate the clutch during gear changes or close the throttle on upshifts or blip it on downshifts. A new traction control system comprises five modes while it can also be switched off. Topping off the electronics package is Suzuki's always handy easy start system and low RPM assist. All the information is displayed on an updated LCD dash lifted from the GSX-R 1000R Superbike. The Twin Spar aluminium chassis is mated to a 2016 GSX-R 1000 swing arm for agile, sporty performance and handling. However, new 23mm wider tapered bars help riders pitch the bike into turns with greater leverage. They are also set 20mm closer to the rider to improve comfort without compromising handling. Suspension comes in the form of fully adjustable KYB front forks and a preload and rebound damping adjustable rear shock with revised settings from the previous iteration. 310mm front discs are paired with Brembo monoblock calipers. A new larger 19 litre fuel tank and fuel consumption of 46.3 miles per gallon equates to a tank range of 194 miles. Those miles can be undertaken in greater comfort thanks to a new seat. Tyres are custom engineered Roadsport 2 from Dunlop. Ren Tabata was one of the leading test riders involved in the GSX S1000 project. While the new GSX S1000 delivers a broader, flatter torque curve than its predecessor, we also paid keen attention to delivering exciting acceleration in the mid to high rev range. The lively, low to mid range torque and engine performance allows the rider to run one gear higher than on the previous model. This makes for a much more pleasant riding experience. Yuseki Ohata was the assistant chief engineer. The new GSX S1000 is a naked sports bike that can be enjoyed for both its street developed performance and standout style. Systems designed to support the rider include SDMS, Suzuki Clutch Assist, Traction Control and a Quick Shifter. Our goal was to achieve a level of controllability and predictability and instill greater rider confidence, allowing them to concentrate on the riding experience. The new GSX S1000 has a light responsive power delivery while remaining stable at speed and responds faithfully to the rider's inputs at a variety of speeds. With electronic throttle control, we repeated rounds of testing while reviewing the results with the engineers as we worked to match the actual power delivery to the throttle actuation and to find the best settings for each of the STMS power modes. The tuned fuel injection system provides a feeling of solid controllability, especially under hard acceleration. I strongly believe that we have come up with a highly appealing bike that is both fun and satisfying to ride. The new GSX S1000 offers a balance of styling, sports, performance and controllability. I look forward to riders experiencing the true riding pleasure it offers first hand. As well as its sharp new looks, the engine's beefier mid-range and improved top end plus upgraded electronics package, one of the standout features of the new GSX S1000 is its price. In line with Suzuki's value-packed products philosophy, the new GSX-S1000 will be available in Suzuki dealerships from the end of June at the low price of just £10,999. That is a lot of bike and a lot of fun for the money. To find out more or reserve yours, click on the link in the video description or check out the website. Thanks very much for watching.